In this video, I'm going to paint this yellow plane with this pink paint. Sounds mad? Watch on to find out. Welcome back to The Painting Coach, and yes, today I'm going to show you that you can paint yellow. So let's get started. We're back with Aeronautica Imperialis. We're painting some storm eagles, and we're painting them in the colours of the Imperial Fists. Now I'm starting off with a pink primer and I'm using Molotov One For All Acrylic. It's designed for outdoor use, it's really, really durable and I'm going to apply this through the airbrush. Just taking my time, making sure that I'm not putting too much on in one go. Make sure your trigger control is really, really good and just put little dabs of paint on, building up those layers until you get a really nice all over coverage of this pink coat. Now that we've got that really nice pink base coat down, I'm moving to some Liquitex white ink again through the airbrush. And what I'm doing with this is focusing on those areas where you're gonna get the highlights, the lighter areas, the center of panels, uh, the cockpit, around there where we want the area to be lighter. And where the magic of the pink comes in and the white on top is you're gonna get a really nice blended yellow effect where you've kind of got an orangey color over the pink and that true yellow color when it's going over the white. Let's move on to that first bit of yellow and the color I'm using is golden acrylic, diorolite yellow. Now you can use yellow ink for this, you can use a Yandan yellow, any kind of yellow. You just need to make sure it's thin and apply it in nice thin coats so that you get an even coverage. And one tip I'd give is stay away from those extreme edges that you want to be a little bit brighter and we'll cover those next. Now we're moving on to some Moon Yellow from Vallejo Model Air. The equivalent in Citadel would be something like Flash Kits Yellow. And you can see on the Storm Eagle those areas of white where I've not quite covered with the original Golden Acrylic Yellow. And that's really important because what this is going to do is give us a much brighter yellow in those areas to really accentuate the colour. With that yellow done, it's time to put down a coat of varnish to protect it. I'm using Vallejo Premium Airbrush Varnish and I'm making sure it's gloss so that we get a nice shiny finish as well as some good protection. When that gloss varnish is dry, it's a really good time to have a think about putting some decals on so that we can weather them all at the same time with the rest of the craft. Now I use Mr. Mark Setter and Mr. Mark Softer. You may have used Microsol or Microset. These are the ones that I prefer. These are the ones I have the most success with. So let's go ahead, let's apply some decals. Now, don't go overboard, don't go mad, uh, but just make sure you've got them on there and then use a small cotton bud or a Q-tip if you're in the US, just to wipe away any bubbles. If you needed to conform to the surface, that's when you use your Marks, Mr. Mark Softer or some Microsol, just to melt the transfer a little and get it conformed to those panel lines. Now that we've got the decals on, it's time to bring some definition back. And the easiest and fastest way to do that is with an oil wash. So I'm just taking some Van Dyke Brown. I'm mixing in quite a bit of odorless white spirit so I get a really thin wash. And as you can see, all I need to do is touch the brush against the model and the capillary action moves that oil wash all the way around exactly where I need it. Once I've given that oil wash a few minutes just to bed down into the model, it's time to clear off all the excess and just leave it in the recesses. All I'm going to do is take a cotton bud or a Q-tip and just move this across the model and take away any excess that I don't really need. And you've got plenty of time to work on this. Maybe don't leave it for too long, but certainly whilst you're just doing it and you've just applied the oil wash, it'll come off really easily. If you need to reapply it, reapply it. Otherwise, work your way around and make sure you take off as much as you want. And then once you're happy, we'll move on to the next stage. I've left the model overnight just to let that oil wash set up. Now it's time to mat it all down so we can work on everything else. I've just taken some matte varnish, but I'm using Vallejo, and I'm just putting this all over the model. All right, once that matte varnish is dry, it's time to get on to detailing this model. So the first thing we're going to do is paint all the metallics, and I'm going to do that using the silver paint. I'm using Iron Hand Steel from Citadel, and I'm just going around the model making sure to catch all those silver areas. Take your time here. You don't want to make any mistakes. You don't want to spill it into any of those areas where you've got that yellow absolutely perfectly. Once that metal's dry, it's time to give it a little bit of depth, and we're going to do that just simply with some null oil. Again, be really careful you don't spill this on any of those yellow parts. And now once that's dry, we want to highlight the model. We're going to do that using Chrome from Vallejo Model Air, and we're just looking for those sharpest edges, for those prominent areas such as the top of the engine covers, any sharp edges we may have on some of those thruster jets as well. Let's move on now to some of those finer details like the glass areas and all those lamps that we've got across the model. 
So what I'm doing, I'm just taking some white paint. I'm using Pro Acryl Titanium White. I'm just gonna give this a nice even coverage. At this scale, it's really easy to get effective looking glass and lenses. So what I'm doing is using three contrast paints. I'm using Warp Lightning, Ethermatic Blue, and Blood Angels Red Contrast. And all I'm gonna do is pop this over those white areas I've just finished. So I'm gonna paint the glass with Warp Lightning, I'm gonna paint some of the lenses, and I'm gonna paint some of the lights on the exit ramp with the green, same for the Blood Angels Red, and then I'm gonna use the Ethermatic Blue for the lens sensor right on the front by the heavy bolters, and also those engine coils to give the impression of a glowing plasma drive. Now we're at the point where I wanna break up that yellow a little bit, and the way I'm gonna do this is using some bad and black paint. So I'm just gonna pick out some random areas, such as the wing flaps, the missile pod trim, as well as the cockpit itself. And it'll give you a really nice way of breaking up some of that yellow. Highlighting that black is really easy using some Mechanica Standard Grey, and because of all the angles that we've got on the model, it's really easy to just pull your brush along those sharp edges and get a really nice, crisp, sharp highlight. Next up, we've got those Aquilas to do. Now I'm using Imperial Fist and I'm gonna do a dark red. So I'm gonna base all the Aquilas with some corn red to start. To highlight that red, I'm just using some Evil Sun Scarlet. And because this is a, such a small scale, all I'm doing is just pulling the brush across the raised edges to give the impression of some depth there. The last thing we need to do to highlight this yellow before we move on to some extra weathering is to take some Dawn Yellow and just pull this along the sharpest edges that we wanna highlight. The yellow's really coming together now and it's starting to look fantastic. I I'm trying to think where I remember watching this technique first. I think it was Brent from Goobadown, who in one of his 24 hour Chaos Warhammer Band challenges that he did. Uh, I'm gonna link that video in the description. So if you haven't checked it out already, please do so. It's a great video and really opened my eyes to using that pink and white combo. We're nearly at the end now and the model's looking great. You can leave it there if you want, but I just wanna add a bit more weathering to give the impression that this craft is flying through the sky. I'm using some Van Dyke Brown and Titanium White oil paint. And what I'm gonna do is pop a little bit of this onto a metal palette. I'm then gonna take the brush and I'm just gonna dab some white and uh, brown across the model in areas where I think it's gonna get some chipping, some damage uh, from flying through the atmosphere and, into, and out of combat. Once I've popped that down, I'm gonna take a nice soft brush. I'm gonna pop this into some white spirit and wipe most of it off so it's just damp. And then I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna pull it in the direction that I want the weather in. And you can see there, the oil paint just melts away and gives some absolutely brilliant streaking. Really easy, really simple, really straightforward. And there we have it, this is done. You can now paint yellow. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure to check out these other Aeronautica Imperialis videos. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.